Good morning, Highlanders. We are your hosts, Bannock Allen. And Peyton Stewart. I hope everyone had a great Halloween and is ready for Thanksgiving. Welcome back to the Highlander Highlights, Season 2, Episode 6. Today's date is Friday, November 4th, and let's get it. Attention students, Highlander Theater is proud to announce auditions for their spring show, Heather's the Musical. Auditions are November 16th, starting at 1.30 p.m. Sign up outside G9. Check out our social media and the screen above the auditorium for audition details. Also, remember that our fall show, Ghost Light, opens next Friday, November 4th. Doors open at 6.30. Show starts at 7. Tickets are $12 for an adult, $10 for elder patrons, and $7 for children and students. We're dying to see you there. Kelso Decca is hosting a hygiene drive for people in need in our community. Bring your toiletry donations to the KHS library, main office, or Mrs. Thomas's room in D2. The drive will take place November 14th through the 18th. Check out our Decca Instagram or your class of Google Classroom for more information. Military Family Information Night is an event for students in grades 10 through 12 and their parents that are thinking about joining a military branch after high school. This event is on November 15th from 6 to 7 p.m at the National Guard Armory in Longview. Dinner will be served. Students will get the chance to meet local military representatives, tour the armory, see see and touch different military equipment, and try MREs, military-ready meals. To sign up for this event, scan the QR code on the flyer or visit your Google Classroom class of classrooms and check the event registration link. This last week in sports, last Friday, the football team traveled to Evergreen for the league championship. The Scots had a great comeback game to win in overtime, victory of 29-22. to With that win, the boys will be playing in a state playing game for a trip to the state playoffs. This game will be Saturday, November 5th at 2 p.m. at Schroeder Field. The boys cross country team qualified for state over the weekend at the Westside Classic in Tacoma. Cam Matson led the way with a top 10 finish and was followed by Jake Beck, Jesus Rios, Jacob Riviera, Owen Callinger, Griffin Denton, and William Cheslook. Qualifying for the girls was senior Sophia Cheslook. The Highlanders will compete at the state qualifying meet on Saturday in Pasco. Great job, runners. On Tuesdays, our girls soccer team traveled to Lakewood to play Central Kitsap in the bi-district semifinals. The Lady Scots came home with a victory after Carson Ross scored a free kick in overtime. The girls will be back in action Thursday versus Mountain View with a trip to state tournament on the line. Good luck. Also on Tuesday, our volleyball team was on the road versus Heritage. The Highlanders made easy work of the Timberwolves, winning three straight sets by the score of 25 to 13, 25 to 18, and 25 to 16. Thursday is senior night versus Evergreen. First set at 7 p.m. See you there. For our first segment, here's Georgie Emmer with the Highlander Heartbeat. Hi, who am I here with? Kane Smacken. What's a conspiracy theory you believe in and why? I believe that Michael Jackson and Tupac are not dead. Why? I just know. (laughs) Hi, who am I here with? Uh, Kevin Trujillo. What's a conspiracy theory you believe in and why? Well, I don't believe that pigeons are real, like real animals. They're government drones, because I've never seen a baby pigeon, and you can't say It's because they're in their nest. I've seen pigeon nests. I've never seen a little baby pigeon in a pigeon nest. That just proves my point. There are government drones through and through. If you see a baby pigeon, you're lying to yourself, trying to believe what is false. There you go. That's a good answer. Who am I here with? Terrell Roller. What's a conspiracy theory you believe in and why? Uh, Tupac's still alive. Why? Uh... 
He was just too much of a G to die. Like, straight up. It's a good answer. Hi, who am I here with? Wesley Leeper. What's a conspiracy theory you believe in and why? Uh, I believe that Tupac never was killed and because he didn't want all the fame. He wanted to disappear. It's a good answer. Yeah. Hi, who am I here with? Preston Harrington. What's a conspiracy theory you believe in and why? Uh, pigeons, are, pigeons aren't real because have you ever seen a baby pigeon? I have not. Who am I here with? Bruce. What's a conspiracy theory you believe in and why? Monkeys aren't real. Why? Because they're just unevolved humans. <laughs> Good answer. Hi, who am I here with? Casey McNew. What's a conspiracy theory you believe in and why? Aliens. I think Area 51 is very much real just because... Is it in Nevada? I feel like Nevada is a really freaking weird place and I feel like they would for sure have aliens. That's a good answer. Alright, what conspiracy theory do you believe in? Uh, that all birds are fake and they're just cameras. I think I could get behind that one. Do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster in Mayfield Lake? Yeah, I've seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> with our football team winning the league title and hosting a playoff game this weekend, Evan Brown has caught up with Coach Amrine to discuss this football season. Hello, Highlanders, and I'm here with... Coach Amrine. Hi, Coach. Um, how does it feel to be league champs? Well, you know what? It's been a, a long, long time. Uh, since 2004, uh, the first time we've won it outright, uh, we've been close a lot. We were co-champs in 2019, uh, and then we've, been, we've taken second place a, a lot of times. We've been in the playoffs since 2012, I believe, here every year. So we've had a great run, a playoff run, but to actually win the conference championship by ourselves is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, congrats. Thank you. Um, what was your favorite game this season? Well, we've had several exciting games for sure. You know, uh, we, we beat Prairie 28 to 20, and, and that ended up being a little closer than we thought. But as we found out, they're a little better than, than we thought. But beating Mountain View down there is always uh, super exciting. And so we never take that for granted. And then obviously the Evergreen overtime game to clinch the conference championship was really, really special. But you know, when you play nine games in football and then obviously we had the fellow homecoming game canceled, um, every game is, is really important and, and really we look forward to every game. But uh, the Mountain View and the, uh, and the Evergreen games were two that were really, really cool because to go down to Vancouver and win twice is pretty exciting and our guys were behind in both those games and came back and stuck with it and showed the perseverance that that they have yep and there were a lot of close games including a few where you guys were behind what's your stress level like during those games well you know you're always working as a coach you're always thinking and working ahead and so you don't have a a, a ton of time i mean if you monitored the stress level it would probably be pretty high but but i've also been coaching for for close to 30 years now but my stress is i want these kids to have uh, a chance to win and a chance to be successful because they only get so many opportunities and so when our when our kids uh, have an opportunity i want to make sure that as a coach i do everything i possibly can and we as a staff do everything we possibly can to give the kids the opportunity to be successful and with the good players we have this year uh, they have uh, taken advantage of that and uh, they have to execute and so they have executed and and played really hard and and done a great job done everything we have asked of them and i'm happy to see them get rewarded yeah and now that you guys are in the playoffs how far do you think you're going to go well you know we, we take it one game at a time it's uh, you know a lot of you guys that follow the nc2a tournament in basketball and and the nfl playoffs and and all those types of playoff games it's it's win in advance survive in advance so you know we we want to we want to beat gig harbor and then we'll work on the next one after that but you gotta you gotta win the first one to get to the second one so we'll time will tell Yep, and this Saturday you guys play Gig Harbor. Um, what are your thoughts on that game? 
it's going to be an exciting t- exciting game. They they have some some really good skill players. Their quarterback Will Landrum's a, a really good player, and then they have a couple really good wide receivers. So that'll be a, a test to our DBs and a test to our defensive front to contain him. And then uh, we need to continue to to do a good job on offense of not turning the ball over and taking care of it, and then then scoring and wearing defenses out. And and I think we can do that. We're going to need everybody's support. I encourage everybody to come out Saturday afternoon at at 2 o'clock at Schroeder Field and uh, be a part of the the playoff excitement. We've had one home playoff game on the turf, and that was a Friday night game. So this will be the first afternoon playoff game on the turf in the history of Kelso High School. Yep. And last question. How many steps have you taken today? Today I'm only at 10,000. 800 but it's still early and so we try to get in the 25s to 30 so how much do you average i would say i average probably about 25,000 anywhere between 20 and 25,000 a a really good good day after a home football game i'm probably right around 31 32,000 well thank you coach and good luck saturday thank you to everybody and and good job in in our digital media class this is awesome that you guys are doing a great job and and everybody i also want to wish all our other sports and our band, uh, good luck at their competitions this weekend. I know our cross country kids are running. I know our, our volleyball team is playing and doing a great job. I know our soccer team is competing and doing an awesome job. Uh, band has competition. Our cross country has competition again this weekend, I believe. And so, and if I missed anybody, uh, keep staying involved, Highlanders, and, and, and doing a good job. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. This week's Inside Look, Colby Sapp sat down with Mr. Burke to see what all goes into the auto shop. So what classes do you teach? Okay, so I teach uh, intro automotive, I teach uh, intermediate and advanced, and then I teach uh, small engines. Hmm. Small engine diagnostics and repair, I guess you'd call it. What skills are helping students learn in these classes? Uh, Definitely collaboration, problem solving, um, I would say perseverance, really mechanical skills, things like that, but yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of projects are you currently doing? Um, Currently we're doing student projects right now. Um, We've been working on a few things with um, the chassis project that we had from last year, a couple things like that, the half car project, half car turbo civic project, we've been working on that just a little bit. Mm-hmm. But we don't have anything super involved going on right now. What have you learned teaching students here in Kelso? Um, really what the Highlander spirit is all about. Um, that's been a big part of really learning to work together, learning to persevere and be resilient when hard, hard things come up when we run into a broken bolt or something that doesn't really go right. Just really learning to embody that Highlander spirit and try to live up to what it means to be a Highlander. Mm -hmm. What kind of things do you like seeing in your class? Uh, Really a passion for automotive. A passion for anything um, that has to do with things that move, things that go, things that make power, things like that. But definitely, um, as far as skills, I would definitely say like collaboration skills, problem solving skills, um, being resilient, being patient are a big part of it because a lot of the stuff is difficult to do. And what vehicles do we have at the school so far? Um, currently we have a pretty wide variety of SUVs, cars, pickup trucks. Um, we're working with mostly early 2000s vehicles right now. Uh, but we are working on cycling up, upcycling, if you will, to some newer vehicles. So we're going to be trying to get into the um, 2018s and, and better. And how do we get these vehicles to our school? Um, currently, people donate them. We're always looking for donations through um, outside sources. So a lot of the schools, the schools around us have donated to us. Um, dealerships on occasion will donate to us. But we're always looking for individual donations as well. Lastly, what, what do you hope to see more of? Ooh, I'd have to say passion, really. Having that passion for um, your future, having a passion for knowing what you want to do in life, and especially if that's automotive, being passionate about being here, uh, being immersed in in what we're working with and really trying to live up to um, the opportunity that you have to be in here and work with this stuff. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. This week, Brady Phillips visited with Mrs. Johnson to give us more information on the military night. Here it is, the more you know.
Hi, I'm Brady Phillips and I'm here with Nicole Johnson. I am your career readiness coordinator. And we have a couple questions about your upcoming event. Sure. Um, what is Military Information Night? So Military Information Night is an event for students and their parents or guardians, um, anyone in Cowlitz or Waukiacum County who is maybe interested in the military as a possible post-secondary career pathway. Um, who can come to this event? Um, so anyone in grades 10 through 12 who is interested in exploring more about the military as a post-secondary pathway, who maybe wants to meet our military representatives face-to-face, -face, um, and then again, their parents and guardians can come with them. Um, what branches of the military will be attending? Um, we're hopefully going to have all five attend. So far I have confirmations from the Army, from the Navy, from the Air Force. I'm still waiting on the Coast Guard and the Marines, but hopefully we'll have all five there. Um, what will students be doing at the event? Um, so they're going to get a chance to actually tour the armory in Longview, so that's where the event will be held this year. Um, typically it's on our campus, but we decided to try something new this year. So you'll get to tour the armory and look at all the really cool equipment, possibly try some things on. Um, and then you'll get to try some MREs, which are mm -hmm. meals ready for the military when you're out um, in the field. So those will be really fun to try. Um, just get to walk around and meet the different representatives from the military branches. And then you get to hear from a panel of recent recruits. Mm. Um, about their experiences so far and why they chose the branch they chose. Nice. And um, you already covered that, but what time does the yeah. event start? Um, it goes starts at 6 o'clock. We'll go to about 7, 7.30, um, possibly depending on how many people come to the event. Um, but it'll be in the evening, so we will be serving other dinner. If you don't want to try an MRE, we'll have yeah. pizza there. <laughs> um, but 6 to 7 is the time. Okay, and then uh, students can... Yeah, so to register for the event, there is a link in your class of Google Classrooms. But if you see a flyer around school or come in uh, through the email, you can always scan this QR code here and it'll take you to the registration uh, page. All right, yeah. thank you. Thank you. For this week's Athlete of the Week, Hazel Ray met up with the whole offensive line to get their thoughts on this season. Okay. I'm Hazel Ray. <laughs> I'm Hazel Ray and I'm here with Brady Phillips, Dominic Kemp, Kyle Woodard, Brody Mackin, Matthew Swanson, Payne Stewart. How do you guys feel about being league champs? It's cool. It feels good. It feels incredible. Uh, it feels great. Pretty awesome. It's our senior year. Best feeling in the world. How long have you guys been playing football together? Um, with Dom, Coda, and Brody, off and on since kindergarten. Yep, yep. Uh, I've played every year with Brady, and same with like Brody and Dom. And then Matt, seventh grade, and Peyton, freshman year. Same thing as Coda. Middle school. Freshman year. What's your guys' pregame meal? Seaweed and hard boiled eggs. Whatever the mom's pack is. Ibuprofen and some water. Um, I'm like a granola bar, banana, uh, and an Uncrustable. Uncrustable, um, a banana, sometimes a granola bar, definitely some Gatorade. Bananas, Gatorade, and a granola bar. What has been your guys' favorite game this season? Um, beating Evergreen in overtime. Beating Mountain View since we lost last year. Mountain View for sure. Evergreen. Evergreen. Capital. Out of all of you guys, who's the most athletic? Um, I'd probably say uh, Showtime. Payne Stewart. I'd say Logan Barker. I'd have to say uh, Dustin. I think I'm going to go with Seabass. Jane Eubanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> well, this wraps up another spectacular episode of the Highlander Highlights. Thank you guys for watching. You can watch any episodes you may have missed here on our YouTube page at Highlander Productions. If you want to see more of us, or if you just want to stay up to date with your fellow Highlanders, check out our other social media pages on TikTok and Instagram 
at Highlanders Thought Productions. Peace out, Scotty. Peace out. Who am I here with? Banagown. If you had a conspiracy... Illuminati. That's a good one. Stop! You <laughs> didn't even ask me. Who am I here with? Banagown. What's a conspiracy theory you believe in and why? Uh, I believe in the Illuminati. And I believe in them because they're on the dollar bill. That's good reason. Yeah. <laughs> Is the mic on? <laughs> Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. I got it. Don't worry. Hello. Who has it? I think Coda has it. We just say it in one big group. No. Yes. If we all go down no. the road. As a group. One big group. As a group. What is it? Start it. Say it as a group. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, what do you do? Let's do what we did. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you just get out of it. Heritage. <laughs> It's pointless for me. <laughs> Are we <s> <laughs> Yeah, we got it. <laughs> you might want to read. Hi, who am I here with? Kane Smacken. What's a conspiracy pe <laughs> Hi, who am I here with? Brady Phillips. What's a conspiracy theory you believe in and why? The earth is flat because the sun doesn't go around. Thank <laughs> you.